Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton, and I have been asked by Motopress to kind of give a review on their slider. And most of you know if you watch my channel, I happen to be a Revolution slider fanatic. I think that what those guys have done at Theme Punch are just fantastic. However, I will say that Motopress, their slideshow, is hot on their heels. So let me slide out of the way for a second. You are actually witnessing right now their slideshow uh, functions in layers, uh, has the text, has the animation inside there as you're seeing right now, and uh, also, of course, is fully responsive so that if we were to shrink this down, uh, you get to see the slider kind of adjust its fonts and, of course, uh, its spacing as well, kind of all shrunk down purdy. All right, um, so I've spent a little bit of time already kind of diving in. I went ahead, of course, this is a premium, just like the Revolution slider. This is a premium slider that you have to purchase. This is not free, you have to go purchase it. You download the zip file and you install it inside of your plugins area. I've already done that, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into uh, that area. We've already installed it and activated our, our license key. Um, by default, they already load up about six different options that you get to see. Uh, so they give you some ideas of how they've created some of their demos. You get to see things fly in like this and the buttons and everything and all the different texts. And of course, if you wanted to make changes to this slideshow, you can just go in and edit each slide, change the text, and it's that simple. It's already created for you, already done for you. Uh, again, you have six different versions of different slideshows kind of by default that come with this that, that are already created. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. Of course, you can also play video inside of this uh, slider, which is also a big trending thing that we're seeing right now. People are loving having some great video um, sitting in this space. So I have not tested yet whether or not the video can be automatically playing or looping like it can in the rev slider though, so we'll have to check into that. All right, for the sake of this quick tutorial and kind of a quick review, I've already created a test um, slideshow right here. I have it playing through on this page. I don't have it sitting on a full width page. I just wanted to see what it would look like inside of an actual, inside of another page. So this is our about us page um, that I just kind of have it set in here right now. It's got two slides, as you can see, rotating through. I have it looping a little bit more quickly just for the sake of this tutorial so that you can see the transitions easily without us uh, spending a lot of time. It didn't take me too long to create this. Um, so let's create a new slider and I'll show you the process. Create new slider. This is me creating a whole new slideshow. So uh, next slideshow is what we're gonna call this one. And you can change the alias that by default gives it something wonky doing there, but this is gonna sit in your short code. So it's nice to have um, something that's a little bit more obvious of what you're using it for so that this bit of short code sitting on your page can be uh, kind of self-explanatory. You can force it to be full width. That's great if you're using a full width page. Of course, for the sake of this, I'm not. So I'm not gonna force the full width. It does give you options to go ahead and set the height and width, which is nice, so you can do that. This also gives you a heads up as to what size your image should be if you are trying to have a full width image on here, okay? So your width should be 960 and your height should be 350. Here you can change the delay of the slides as they rotate through. So normally it was set by default to 7,000. I went ahead and sped mine up, taking it down to 4,000. You can change the transition of the slides. These are your three options here. Um, and the duration that the slide is actually on, uh, the animation duration. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 1,000, just again to speed this kind of along. This by default sets um, those settings that I just manipulated seem to affect the entire slideshow, all right? Kind of default across the entire one slideshow. Now I'm going to create each individual slide. So you click new slide. It creates our slide for us and we can name it. And this is gonna be uh, the forest picture that we had. And of course you can set this into draft mode if you wanted to. Uh, you get to see these nice little lines that kind of give you an idea of where to keep your core content inside of. So if you can see those, I know they're very, very light, but that those are nice little boundaries to keep your core content here and here. These are your different layers that you can begin to add if you wanted to add individual layers, or if you wanted to take up the full width like I have in my example, you would switch to the image here and allow us to have an image background stretch the entire width of our scene here. 
and then you can begin to add layers. So if you wanted to add text on top of it, we can click add text. Scrolling down, you begin to see the space that you can manipulate the text. And then if we wanted to change the text style, you can come here and click, you have some default options if you wanted to play around with those. Or if you wanted just to completely have your own editor, you would click element style and click edit. This takes you into this scene where you can change the font color. I'm just going to choose white for the sake of this tutorial. And the font size, let's go ahead and take it to 44. And of course, we also have Google Fonts inside of here, which is super fantastic and very generous of the author to go ahead and link that up for you. And I'm going to go ahead and click Apply Style. We get to see Peace and Calm over here in Equestrial Font. All right. By default, it goes ahead and sets a little bit of fade animation to this particular uh, layer that would fade in. So I'm going to let you see what that would look like. Our slide is there, and then the fade in effect of the text. Very nicely done. Um, you can, of course, manipulate all sorts of different options here if we wanted it to zoom in. So let's say zoom in right, and let's say, uh, let's preview what that would look like then. And there you go, a little bit of a zoom fun effect there. Probably not so much calming, but I just want to show you the different options for your um, animation effects per layer. All right, these are per layer inside of your slideshow. All right, so if I wanted to go ahead and say this is my complete first slide, I would want to go ahead and add another slide. So um, there might be a faster way to do this, but from what I've seen so far is you go ahead and click close and then say new slide. And then this will be the handshake image that I had. Again, an image. I'll go ahead and uh, choose that image for the, let's see, oh, here we are. Here you go. Insert image. And of course, if you wanted to add a button here, you can add a button for a call to action button. And that can be uh, more details. And you would uh, drop in the link here. You would just go get your link and copy it onto your clipboard if you wanted to. Uh, have that there. If you wanted it to open up in a new window, you can choose that option there. And of course, you have some default options here for styling. Uh, bright red. This kind of plays with some of the tones in this. So I think that's kind of nice. If we really wanted it to be crazy contrasting, we could do something like that and make it really pop off the page. And of course, if you want to get crazy nerdy, you can add some custom classes to it if you'd like as well. Uh, so all of this kind of plays into effect. You can keep adding as many uh, layers as you want, and, and you would adjust the layer order over here on the right side as you added more and more uh, layers. You can see here that this is fake text. And now on the right side over here, if I wanted to adjust their uh, appearance, I can just drag and drop them and adjust their appearance into my slideshow. Sla save slide. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to our... Um, list of slides. I wanted you to notice that if you wanted to reorder these slides for the handshake to appear first, you can again just drag and drop them. That readjusts the order of the slides as they appear. Some of the other cool features that the Moto Press slider offers is you have visible dates. So if you had something that was time specific, maybe a, a sale that you were running or a holiday ad that you wanted to display, you can have it appear from and until and then have those dynamically uh, appear and disappear on those dates. Of course, the Revolution slider gives you those options as well. But these guys, I think what they've done is they've offered you a lot of the bells and whistles that the Rev slider offers. Um, kind of in a minimalist approach of the, the editing area. So a nice, simple design. Kind of reminds me of the version prior to uh, 5.0. However, I think with the uh, release of 5.0 with the Rev Slider, they did just incredible option overload and gave us a lot of really incredible flexibility, allowing us to have dynamic uh, social media feeds at present. It's just nuts what they do. If you're not familiar with the Rev Slider, I'll put that link in the description box below. But please check out this Moto Press slider. I really do think uh, that these guys ha have done it right. If we wanted to come here and put it inside of a page, uh, this is the way we would do it. We would go back in the edit page, whatever page we'd want it in. This is that other slideshow that I had. You now have a slider option here, and I'm going to choose the example slider that we were just tinkering with. And we'll go back and say, view the page now, and we should have that visible here. 
So there's our handshake that we chose to have as the first slide, and then here's our peace and calm option here. If you did not like these buttons visible here, or maybe you didn't want these arrows on here, Motopress gives you that option inside of um, the slider settings you can go into settings and you would go into controls and you would remove whatever options that are annoying to you and, and kind of manipulate how you wanted the slideshow to appear in, in that manner. So I'll go ahead and click refresh and you can see that the buttons are gone now and even that little transition bar across the top up here that shows the timing is gone as well. Well, I hope this has helped y'all and given you some quick insight into the Motopress slider. I will put the link in the description box below so you can go check it out yourself. Be sure to tell them that Corey Ashton sent you. I appreciate that. We'll see you next WordPress Wednesday. Bye-bye, y'all.